I just saw you guys recently at the award season. Yeah. And the whole cast was looking fierce. We, we try to do it for network TV now. We, we show up, we're ready. Look I at love these it. looks. Yeah. Now, I heard you don't, you don't care about anything until you, you know. Look at these looks. You yeah. say you ain't worried about nothing, but you get excited about like taking risks with your looks. Oh. Yeah. Tell me about that. Okay. Award shows, I've been going to these since I was really young, right? Mm -hmm. So they're not always as exciting as they used to be. That's just, that's just part of mm -hmm. it. So for me, I get really excited when I find something risky to put on. That's when I, I know like when something's about to happen. Yes, this is that's risky. That's when I know. And if it's just a black suit, I'm not wearing it. I'm sorry. I understand. Life is too short for just a black suit. It gotta be exciting, especially exactly. when it's for the awards. You yes. wanna have your moment. Yes. yes, we gotta be there, we gotta show out. Wow. We gotta, we gotta have a, a, a little moment. There. A little moment. And then I saw photos of your co-stars at the SAG Awards. Mm -hmm. Please tell me what is going on here. <laughs> What's going this on is there? This like a show moment. It's precisely show. what you think. <laughs> is that a flask? That there? is a flask. That is Lisa shotgunning a flask <laughs> in the middle of, I'm assuming, what must have been best actor in a drama. Like, I'm not... <laughs> Cheryl is obviously shocked. I wonder um, how she put that in not. a purse. Because normally I can't get nothing but a, a little uh, almond or a, a peppermint in my little right. purse. Right, well, because the thing also, we don't really eat. You, right. You be, you're sitting there for four or five hours, no food. No food. You're just hungry, so she decided to, to drink her meal that evening. And I, I don't uh, disagree with that decision. Y'all got all the highlights. Okay, so you got to have a risky outfit right. for the awards, a yes. flask in your bag if for you your can. meal. If you can. I'm taking notes, okay? Because yes. I'm going to make sure. Maybe I could sneak some popcorn in mine. I think you totally could. Okay, tell me what's the highlight for the award season for you? Quinta won an Emmy. She won an Emmy. Wow. Yes! Emmy. She won an Emmy and, like, what I love about this win is she won last year as a writer, mm -hmm. but people underestimate Quinta as an actor. Wow. She needed a separate award for yeah. that. The work that I watch her do day in and day out deserve to be recognized, not just as somebody who's running the show. Right. Because people don't really understand, she runs up to the writer's room, gives notes, talk about things, runs back downstairs, is on set, on camera, then runs into the editing bay to cut things together. So the fact that she can stay focused in right. all of those jobs and do them well, each one needs to be recognized. That is true. You moved to New York, huh? You, you shoot yeah. here, but you moved back to so, New York. So, I'm from New York originally. Uh -huh. um, I, strangely enough, got brought out to L.A. for the first time when I was a kid doing a show about New York. Mm. So, Everybody Hates Chris took me from New York and brought me to L.A. Wow! Yeah, it was... That's so crazy! Yeah, it's, 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 Hollywood is strange in that way. <laughs> And I hadn't been able to move back since just because life was too busy. And yeah. then over the strike this last year, it was like, I'm going home. Like, I, I need normalcy. I and totally that's, understand. you know what I mean? Yes. Because it's just, it's, this is where we work. This is how we get the show done and all of that. But you need to be able to walk the streets mm -hmm. and just kind of be in a homey atmosphere. So I went back. I come here to work and then I go back home. Oh, and yeah. is it true you and your brothers live together? Yeah. I love yeah, that. The three of us. Yeah. Nice! What used to be, it's crazy, because like, when we were younger, we tried to get as far away from each other <laughs> as possible. <laughs> Around that age. Oh! <laughs> but then as we got older, I think we have a very unique experience. We yeah. each, you know, were on or led shows when we turned 13. Yeah. So it just happened to play out that way. So we're the only ones who really understand each other's right. experience in that specific way. And then at some point, we realized we didn't need that much space, and we're like, why don't we just all live together on both coasts? And on it's been beautiful. Yeah, on both coasts. It's been beautiful ever since. I love that for yeah. you guys. Yeah. Aww. I know your character mm -hmm. and Quince's character, mm -hmm. you know, it's a little thing going on, but what you like, how do you feel about, you know, the relationship progressing with y'all characters? <sighs> you know. Ooh, right? <laughs> I heard somebody's yes. Uh-oh, how you feel um, about it? I hate to say it, and I know everybody's always mad at me for this, I don't necessarily want to see them together. No? No. Is this an actor's choice? No, I mean, okay, it's partially an actor's choice, but also somebody who, like, I read a lot of scripts all the time, I watch mm -hmm. a lot of TV, a lot of film. I don't think that we see displays of platonic love between two people mm -hmm. often. 
Mm -hmm. I think it's really easy to go right to they have feelings for each other, therefore they should be together. Right. I like this dynamic of them exploring, withholding that, and just actively loving each other where they are. Oh. That I that I like to see more. Okay. That'll bring something different into yeah, the table. Yeah, I think it's time for that. It doesn't. People need to. I think TV allows people to see things that could be their lives for the yeah. first time. And I think seeing a healthy friendship that is deeply caring about one another in a work atmosphere needs to be shown more than a relationship. Okay, Director Williams. All right. We're not mad. They seem to like that idea. They're not too mad about it. Okay, I hope you don't get mad at this because I stole y'all whole chalkboard and I have like, I'm gonna That's where that went. Okay, mm -hmm, great. Mm -hmm. We've been looking I for that. I snuck over there and I need you to sign the, the class photo. Oh. Can I bring it out for you to sign? Right on over here, yes, sir. Of course, there it is. Yes, yes, Wonderful. yes. And you'll sign oh, right on over newest, here. This is our newest staff your, member. That's, yeah. Yes, I, you see, I made myself yes, it's, a manifesting. It's a vision it. board as well. It's my vision, it board. vision board. Get it? I love it. He's signing, guys. All right, let me. I, I can't cover Shirley Ralph's face. No, no, definitely. Oh, so don't do that to Miss Miss Shirley Ralph. All right. He's signing the job. More with Tyler James Williams. We'll be right back. Be on time for class. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch four episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.